Hello my friends, uh, from today we are going to talk about the Nest.js which is Node.js framework. So first thing we are going to do is uh, I'm going to make an introduction to Nest.js like the what is Nest.js and the philosophy of Nest.js or how to start the Nest.js application and then uh, we are going to learn the basic in Nest.js uh, there are a lot of things we need to learn first for Nest.js like service and provider and controller and so many things so first we are going to look at that and then we will use it for the CRUD application so we will know how to use Nest.js practically but at the time we are not going to use the database the real database so we will just use the local memory for uh, storing our data but after this, we are going to use the Postgres and the type ORM. So we will connect it to our application. After that, we are going to add the authentication feature. So we are going to use the JWT module and the Passport module. Uh, and then we are going to add the permission uh, to our application. So, so only the login user can create the data to the database or the delete something in database and even in here we are going to use the passport and jwp module as we did for the authentication feature uh, lastly we are going to leave the logs uh, so when we uh, leave a log in the express.js we use the winston module but when we use the nest.js there is a built-in feature we can use right away by importing the logger class so i hope this lecture will be really useful for anyone who are going to watch this video. Yeah, from next video, we are going to uh, talk about what is Nest.js. So thank you for watching this video and see you later. Uh, hello, my friends. Uh, today we are going to talk about what is Nest.js. Nest.js is a framework for uh, Node.js and server-side application. Uh, it uses a progressive JavaScript is built with TypeScript. Uh, we only use the TypeScript, not just JavaScript. I think this is quite good. And how is Nest.js structured in internally? And internally, Nest uses a powerful HTTP server framework like Express. So after like making the applications with Nest.js, you will quite realize uh, it is so similar to how we use the Express.js for our application and can optionally be configured to use the testify and this provide a level of abstraction on top of this common Nest.js framework but expose the API directly to developer and if we will look at this part the philosophy of Nest.js there are many great libraries and helper and tools for Node Node.js, but none of them efficiently serve the main problem of the architecture. Nest provides an out-of-the-box application architecture that enables developer and teams to create highly testable, scalable, loosely coupled, and easy to maintain application. This architecture is heavily inspired by Arc Angular. So I actually I never used the Angular, but if I try to find something related to Nest.js, actually, I can get some answer from the Angular community because they uh, use the similar architecture like the service or the provider. So I got some answers from Angular. Anyway, like uh, this course is really based on the Nest.js official documentation because their documentation is really awesome. I think it's just, it is quite okay for just uh, what is Nest.js so far. So in our next video, we are going to install the Nest at, at Node.js. So thank you for watching this video and see you later. Hello, my friend. Actually, we need the Node.js in our computer for the Nest.js because the because the Nest.js is Node.js the framework. So basically, we need Node.js. Uh, it is really easy to install the Node.js. So for that, we can just go to Node.js website. And this one is the latest version, but I recommend you to use the 
like a recommended version like this one you can just click this one and then you can just click the save and and you can just open the installer but i already installed them so i i don't need to keep going for that but after finishing this installations if you want to know this node.js is installed really well in our computer you can just turn on the terminal first and then you can just type node node the v uh, in here you can see the version of the node.js installed in our machine so yeah it is quite easy to yeah, install Node.js and uh, later we are going to install the Node.js GLI2 so see you later hello my friend uh, today we are going to installing Node.js GLI like client Node.js client uh, getting started with uh, Node.js with the Node.js GLI so uh, when starting a project using Node.js uh, we can simply start a project using the Node.js GLI so if you look at here, so if you write the following command using nest GLI, like this one, uh, following command, this one, that's the new project name. So a new project directory is created and populated with the initial core nest.js file and supporting module to create the existing base structure of the projects. So we can just the first uh, install the nest.js GLI by typing npm i global nest.js gli and by using this one we can create our first nest.js application by typing this one so first uh, turn on the terminal we can type the npm i g nest.js gli so if you got this uh, permission denied uh, we are trying to uh, install the nest.js GLI globally so we actually need the sudo permission so I'm going to type sudo first and then npm ig uh, nest.js GLI again and we can type the pass password here after inserting the nest.js GLI so by using the nest.js GLI we can start our application of nest.js application by type the nest uh, this uh, indicate we are using nest.js gli and the new uh, we are going to make the new project and we can type the uh, directory name for our nest.js NES, NES application but first uh, we need to go to the directory for this nest.js application so first i'm going to uh, desktop and in here I'm going to make that application so nest new and just so we can give any name for this nest.js applications directory so for me just nest.js app so like we need to choose which package manager would you love to use so for me uh, I like just npm just uh, it's so simple so I'm just a uh, click this one or uh, if you want to use the yarn yeah definitely you can choose the yarn package manager for this application now we created our first nest.js project so uh, I'm going to turn on the, the visual studio core and then I drag and put the nest.js app we just created so this files and the folder and this is a structure that's the shell I created for us the for the nest.js application so in this structure we uh, install the nest.js gli and by using nest.js gli we created our first uh, nest.js project so from our next lecture we are going to know about the basics in nest.js so thank you for watching this video and see you later